Hi, I'm Aaron DeMello. I play guitar for the Cognac Net and uh, you're watching Rhythm Nation TV. I heard this one song by this band called Audio Slave. It was the song name was Like a Stone. And I remember hearing the guitar solo on that and it was super simple, but it sounded so amazing. So like in my head I was like, man, I, I gotta learn how to do that. So uh, right after my 10th standard board exams got done, I had like a little money saved. So I went to the music store, which was right next door. I picked up this shitty red acoustic guitar and I sat with it all day and just tried to figure out how a guitar worked. My, my aim at that point of time was to get to that sound and learn how to play like that or just play that solo basically. I don't know but I mean I'm gonna go the obvious way and say to pick up girls. <laughs> because I mean that's what, that's why most people do it but I also had a fascination with like the way music sounded and how it was made and things like that so I just I wanted to pick one up and figure it out myself and yeah the, the, the girl part was the added benefit I guess. Like after I learned how to play a little better um, Jason who's also part of this band. We had formed an, another band way back when. So I started jamming with these guys at that point. We were just gonna play like a tiny local gig and we were all like, it was the first time that I was meeting everybody else apart from Jason. And we literally lived in his house and we like, we jammed up about like 20-ish cover songs. Like we didn't have any of our own material or anything. But the whole process of playing music together with a bunch of other guys and I mean everything about it like cause it was a relaxed environment and you know you, you were growing up I, I don't know it just it seemed right it fit and when we played that first gig on stage it was amazing and I knew right then I was like this is what I want to do for the rest of my life if I can it's tough but I mean that's what I really 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 want to do. My dad basically has um, an, a sound and light company, which means he gives out a lot of music equipment and stuff for rent to a lot of people in like all around India. So he had a lot of these guys, um, like guys who work with him who were like DJs, who he would also supply to like the vendors and things like that. So when I was growing up, I heard a lot of like pop music, I guess, at that point of time. But I, it was always there. Like I, I never grew up without music. So I was uh, like, I heard like Roadhouse Blues by The Doors before I even knew who The Doors were. And I loved all that stuff. And then as you grow up, you, I guess you slowly start to find yourself and realize what you're listening to and get more curious about it and try to find out what it is. So which is what I did. And as you go deeper into the rabbit hole, it just expands and you realize that you need to listen to more. <laughs> Depends. I mean, I, I I personally think that I don't practice enough, but like my guitar is always out, so I'll I'll pick it up, strum a few chords, just just do something so that it's in my hand, so that I'm not getting rusty, or like I'm not doing nothing with it. Tom Morello from uh, Rage Against the Machine and Audio Slave, like his approach to playing guitar was just amazing because it's totally different from like your your um, I want to say vanilla guitarists where they would just play or like you know have like hardcore shredding and stuff like that. His approach was super simple. His guitar solos weren't too extravagant or anything like that. It, it was all about learning to use his guitar in different ways which is I thought was pretty cool at the time because he had like a little kill switch on his guitar which he would turn up and down and use it as a turntable to get like an effect like that going on and in my head I'm like man this is cool because it's simple but it's different and 
why not try that approach instead of the regular one? I want to say about two, three years because I've been consistent, like this is the first band that I've been consistently playing with. Like before that, it was just all over doing different stuff. But like with this band, I've been playing for about, I think with them for about a year and a half, I joined like halfway in between. So that's why um, with them, we've been consistently doing stuff and consistently writing music. So I'm guessing a year and a half, I guess. It was this local thing in Bandra, basically, which is where I'm from. Um, it was this festival called Celebrate Bandra. It was like a month-long festival that happens all over the city, and you know you have plays and different things happening. I have no idea. I mean, I'm usually the guy who like stays out of that stuff. I'm gonna get a little candid here and say that the most important thing about getting on the road is going to the bathroom. The money. Like, cause, I'm, especially being a musician in India, because you have um, Bollywood. Do what you love. If you, if you love it, if it makes you, if it feels right, if just do it.